drive through the city of Poland, Georgia, and you may hear a pattern of complaints pour in about its police force. It's crazy because you'll be slowing down and everything and then boom, they're on you. It's <laughs> a speed trap. A sleepy town in South Georgia covering less than two square miles. When you get to Poland, you slow down. Yeah, that'll get you. John Masters ticketed a lot of those drivers. As far as I knew, I was a model employee. When he worked at the police department about two years ago. I thought I was keeping the roadway safe. When did that change? For me, it started when I was told I needed to write so many tickets a night and that those tickets uh, paid for the car, paid for my salary, paid for the maintenance of the vehicle, the incidentals for the department, and paid for city services. So you believe that you wrote tickets that... Because of the quota that I would ordinarily have not have written. City records show John often wrote dozens of tickets a week, second only to the city's assistant police chief at the time. Yeah, he basically told me, if you don't do this, you're not gonna have a, a fun time here. John isn't the only officer making those claims. Thought there was something wrong with that. Zach Watson worked at the Poland Police Department too. So when I started asking questions like, why, why, why is there such a push for these citations, especially this amount, where's the money going? What was their response? Because uh, I wanted you to. We need that money. And Atlanta News' first investigation uncovered 44% of Poland's city budget came from fines and forfeitures in 2022. Revenue collected by its police force, nearly 50% the year before, around the same time John and Zach worked there. Poland has a long history of excessive ticketing claims. 15 years ago, the Georgia Department of Public Safety investigated its police department for profiting off drivers. While it cleared the agency of wrongdoing, it uncovered 103% of its budget came from traffic citations, pointing out it has an unusually large budget for a five officer police department for a town with a population of 1,700 residents. I don't know what money they need for Poland, but they show sure getting it. The city of Poland is no outlier. State records show at least 17 cities in Georgia relied on 25% or more of their revenue from fines and forfeitures from 2020 to 2022. According to the Institute for Justice, Georgia ranks as the worst state in the country with laws that may enable or encourage what it calls taxation by citation. It's shocking. I mean, it's, it's, there's no doubt about it. We shared our findings with State Representative Joseph Gullet. That's more than problematic. It takes money to fund a city, but it doesn't need to be driven you know, strictly by tickets. It needs to be uh, about public safety. Georgia law allows the state to revoke or suspend speed detection device permits when ticket revenue exceeds 35% of police department's budgets, but that only involves tickets for speeding related fines. That means cities can collect as much revenue as they want from other traffic offenses. Representative Gullet, a Republican from Paulding County says he wants to find a legislative solution to address the loophole. The best government is typically the one closest to the people, but sometimes they get it wrong. And that's, you know, that's when we have to go step in and, and uh, try to right the ship. The city of Poland declined recent interview requests, but its attorney Tommy Coleman spoke to us earlier this year, explaining why he believes lawmakers should leave South Georgia municipalities alone. Cities and counties in Georgia and other places ought to be able to master of their own destiny. They ought to be able to control their own uh, revenue. Frustrated drivers who feel gaslit by what they call an unfair police practice. When you're coming through Poland, there's always got somebody pulled over. So hopefully they don't get us on the way down there. In a state that allows cities to collect unlimited cash from drivers through local law enforcement.